Scoot's little skimpy shorts. <laughs> it's summer, isn't it? What can you do? Hello, welcome to another video. Some of you might know that I'm no longer a Yorkshireman. I'm going to get into this on another video. Uh, but I'm now I'm a southern fairy. Sorry to all my northern kin. Because I've moved down south, all my stuff's everywhere. So I've not been able to get out camping. I've not done a video for a while. and um, So I'm sorry for that. But what I have managed to do is set up a studio. Da -da 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 -da, with some of my trinkets to make me feel at home. My stuffed kingfisher. A few skulls and things from from different memories, some photographs down there. So I wasn't able to get out and I didn't want to force it and just go camp in a park. I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing down here. So I thought, oh, what can I do from my studio? And then I thought, oh, my last video, I went out with Joey D and I had such a good time. And it it got me thinking, you know, cause we, we reflected on some of the things that we've done. And I interjected that video with some of the uh, clips of what we've been up to in the past. And it got me thinking, I'm going to do a best of, a best of me and Joe. And it's taken me a while to do it, man, because I've had to go through all the old footage and all the old videos and pick out the bits that I think are the funniest or the most you know, poignant. So this video really is just for the old heads who've been watching for quite some time. <laughs> Anyone who's new to following me, you might want to skip this video because you, you might not get the in-jokes and it's a bit of a nod to me, mate and our friendship and the things that we've done out and about in the wild. And I wanted to condense some of the highlights that we've had into one video, and this is that video. And this video is kindly sponsored by HelloFresh, Regarde. HelloFresh delivers fresh ingredients to your door with more than 44 recipes a week to choose from. From £3.15 per portion, and that's before the discount, it's cost effective and eliminates the need for excessive grocery shopping. I've recently moved house and it's been amazing knowing that every night I've got my meals covered. You can pause or skip a week with your subscription as well if you're away on holiday or for half term and have your meals arrive at your doorstep when you return. It's a great way to unwind, follow the recipe and at the end of it you've got a tasty home cooked meal. Click the link below or use the QR code on screen to get 60% off your first box plus 25% off your next two months. Now back to the video. Right, let's get into it, mate. Let's get into it. So let's take you back to Joey D's first appearance, the fourth video in, and this takes us back eight years, man. Eight years ago, Joey D made his first appearance. And for anyone who doesn't know, uh, Joey D's one of my oldest friends from school, and we've shared a love of the outdoors together over the years, and we've had many, many adventures. And... We had many adventures before YouTube, and then when YouTube came along, I would just put the camera in Joe's face and he'd hate it. He wouldn't like it. I started wanting to do beer reviews, and Joe was reluctant, to say the least. He doesn't do beer reviews. And the part of the joy was his reluctance to take part in these beer reviews. And, uh, and me just being overly enthusiastic and badgering him to do them. And... Uh, the story arc of that is sublime when you <laughs> when you look at him resisting doing the beer reviews and then you cut to him fully <laughs> decked out in Northern Monk gear. This was before Northern Monk even knew who I was many moons ago and he's fully decked out in Northern Monk gear doing a beer review. It's quality times. Let's time travel back eight years and check out some of the highlights with me and Joey D. The showstopper, we call it, I think. That is a weapon and a half. That's ready, man. Yeah. Isn't it? The video and audio quality back in the day was pretty weak. Uh, it does get better as time goes on. Oh, my. Oh. Cauliflower fungus. This is a knife that, uh, that Joe made. Very impressive. What wood is it? Zebrano wood. Look at that, how clean is that? Look, it's like he's just carved it. You could, if everybody could please just go and. <laughs> Shut you, fuck. Yeah, go follow him on Instagram. Do it. Go and follow him on, him on Instagram and uh, just tell him, just write Bramblehead. No, if you can't do it there. 
Maybe it's not for you. <laughs> you can tell me and Joy D know our beer because you know we've got there's a synergy there. Because we <laughs> we've scripted this for two months. This video. <laughs> there he is. Von Joseph D. We're just taking five minutes to sit on our sofa and have a beer. And we found some decent clay. So Joy D sculpting a little summit. There's a little clay. A little clay penis in there. <laughs> That's a sentence I never thought I'd say. But I'm glad I've said it. Review just lost. You can't be asked with Joe can't be asked with beer reviews. Don't get more Yorkshire than this. Was Postman Pat York from Yorkshire? Big up Postman Pat. Big up his black and white cat. <laughs> fall off this, you won't. You? This is science, mate. Oh. All this to myself. My playground. Ah, oh, there's someone down there. No, ruining my, ruining my solitude. What is that? What's that? Uh, just doing a little bit of filming, mate. Just doing a bit of filming. What is it? Anchor IPA. Give it about a <laughs> seven point three. <laughs> It's David Asselhoff! It's David Asselhoff! Oh my god, it's David Asselhoff! <laughs> Come on, David! I believe I can fly. Underwater hell review! Underwater hell review! That's just ridiculous! Oh, beautiful. Me, smog rocket. Joe, what is it? Northern Monk Mocker Porter. A new one, Northern Star, Northern Monk, and he does look like a monk. And there's a compass there pointing north with the brew. That's a decent logo. Big up whoever designed the logo. And there's Wallace. Back where she belongs. You are the first and last of your kind. Inspirational words, D. I read him on a can. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Getting into it, right. There you go. Didn't William Wallace get his speech off a can once? I think, I think Martin Luther King got his off a, a can of Tizer. Jodie says this is a strong look. We're going for leggings, denim, what I like to call denim hot pants, <laughs> woolly top. It looked better with that on there, didn't it? Black onesie, de denim hot pants, satchel. Let's go find a coffee shop, guys. Come on. <laughs> It's a miss. I think you're yet to it, some on camera, so it'd be nice. That's a nice touch, isn't it? That's a lovely little touch. I give it 7-4. There's Joey D. Imagine if that's the last we ever saw of you, that's it. Goodbye forever! Look at that. Amazing. Whale bones. Synonymous with Whitby. There's your real whale bones of Whitby. Right. You've got to guess the, the food pairing. 8.1 for that. No, first. All right. Agreed? Yeah. Just so I can... Yeah. Hey, 8.1, do a dreamy one, or stomach. Look at that carrot. Blackened carrot is extraordinary. Sweet. <laughs> Smoky. Slightly bitter. Yeah. Soft. 10 out of 10. You can't do that any better. What's your definition of bushcraft? Let's start 26, I mean, in 2016, how we, how we I've start. I've done a few, I've, in fact, you've caught me out more times than I'd like to fucking remember, to be honest, this year. Doing beer reviews? Yeah. Forced you into them, haven't I? Yeah. A lot of the time, yeah. <laughs> it makes for a whopping video, though, doesn't it? No. Doesn't. Can you just go and show Joey D some love on Instagram below? Um, you can put Bramblehead if you want. I mean, it's not, it's still funny for me every time I s Bullying. <laughs> yes! Cyberbullying. Cyberbullying. Is it bad? The bullying that never stops. Cyberbullying. The gift that keeps on giving. 24 hour <laughs> bullying. <laughs> yeah. Because they can be bullying you while you're asleep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> From like different time zones and that. Yeah. That's good. So go to Joey D and bully him. Don't bully him. Give him some love. Tough love. <laughs> It just looks like a floating head, because it camo jacket. Can't see you. There he is, give us a wave. Look at that. 
t-shirt and hat for Joey D. I hope Joey D likes his hat and you like your t-shirts from Maddie Wiper. If anyone from Northern Monk's watching, what more can we do? <sighs> this is silly, isn't it? I'm what? freezing. Well, just well, just look what's happened to us. Yeah. Sat here <laughs> matching, <laughs> matching merchandise, drinking beers, talking to a camera at Woods. I know. And we're fully grown I know. This is why I never wanted to start this in the first place. <laughs> and there's a bit down there that's ter yeah, that's terrifying. And Joey D thinks that you can man it and go in there. Yeah, just let's get you on one last shot of Joey D. See you later, pal. 50 metres? Yeah. Honestly, it just keeps going down. See, not only do we go... You know, I can't believe how far down that goes. That's crazy, isn't it? What, where's it going to there? Mordor. I don't know. See one of your mates in there, Samwise or something. Um, it'll just because it's frost, mate. If you just... Yeah. Pump clutch a few times, I reckon we'll get it going. The snowy conditions to always wear lipstick. Because you never know your look. You might get, you know... You might get some really attractive young man or woman who are just dripping in Jack Wolf skin and desperate for a chaperone up to the top. So best to be prepared. We'll take you some, we'll get your Rolf Harris, will sort them out around. Yeah. Rolf will see you right. Who are ya? Who are ya? Who are ya? Who are ya? <laughs> Can't take him anywhere. Look at Joe. He's lost it. He's fell running. He's gonna gas out. He's gotta gas out. He's got to gas out. There he goes, ladies and gentlemen. A rare breed indeed. It's spiritual, isn't it, in a way? The winter, the first sun, it's like energizes you. Oh. It's like your body like drinks it. Preach! It? Preach! <laughs> it's like it's like my body <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right, get the get the dream, get the dream catcher out. Bust out the emergency dream catcher, get your flute out, we're on one. We're gonna burn some sage, exercise some demons. Do a few handstands. Do a few yog yogi poses. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, it looks amazing! That's where we're camping, all the way up there on that ridge. Just wondering how deep it is, wondering stuff like who's winning the fight between. In the prime, Rolf Harris and Paul Daniels, RIP Paul Daniels. In the prime. Is that a question? Yeah, in the prime. Well, Paul Daniels, he's a magician, isn't he? He's magic, isn't he? Like Gandalf. <laughs> Gandalf the small. Gandalf the small, fragile. balding grey. <laughs> Gandalf the fragile. Gandalf punching above his weight. <laughs> <laughs> RIP Debbie McGee. She's not dead, I don't think. No, but a big part of her died when Paul died. Please, no staring at the junk and no judging the size of our knockers. We're going skinny dipping in here. <laughs> One foot ladies. Oh, it's cold. We'll blur out our junk with like aubergine emojis. Ah, <laughs> uh, Win Hof, Win Hof method. Ah, oh, it's ice, it's ice. Oh my God. <sighs> nice work, mate. Ah. Oh. That echo's amazing. Woo. That's it. Thanks for watching. Take care of each other. Spread as much love as you can. Later. Eesh. We're gonna head towards the beginning of the Ardèche. That's ridiculous. Eh? Hey, no beans, has it? You could you could give that to kids. <laughs> <laughs> Oi! Couldn't you? You're number one fans of kids. You shouldn't stop saying these things, man. You're encouraging people to drink. It's not got the the, the fruitiness of a lot of the hop hop stuff. The British hop stuff, but but everything else has been very. Why? Tame, you, it? What are you trying to say that France is? I mean, that England's catching up. France so is catching. Up. France. They're playing catch up, aren't they? Are you being are you being uh, ra racist at all? Marginally. I recommend it. Canoe in the Ardèche. Go on, Wallace. Give it some muscle. Joey D's just had to drive this car on the wrong side at right side at road. Here he is. Left side at road. Right. Wrong. Left. That's not very. It's not very good. Car. There you go. How much are you selling yours? it for? How much? Yours. Is... <laughs> for two peanuts. Two peanuts. I think you're ripping me off there, mate. Yeah, croc cam. Look at them. Look, nice and roomy. Ah, oh, look at that. What was it you said earlier? Scared outdoors. Scared outdoors. Yeah. Scared outdoors. <laughs> you couldn't be with us today. You couldn't be with us today. 
Yeah, it's the a bit... prior engagement <laughs> with fear. <laughs> I'm just sitting on here having a word with myself. That's steep, that. But I'm not bothered because if I fall, I'll just end up in water, won't I? It's when there's rocks underneath me, I can't handle it. There's a group just following us. Yeah. Uh, comprised mainly of young girls. Young girls? Yeah. How old? Uh, I mean, it's hard to tell from this distance. I would say they were no older than 14, 15. Yeah, makes sense. I mean, it's re really is something you can do with the whole family, this, isn't it? I just don't have the head for it. Just when I looked up at the, when I'm traversing around that sheer drop, my just my ass fell out. I couldn't do it, couldn't, can't get my head around it. So I'm gonna go back. If I bottle it again, <laughs> that's the worst thing. Double bottle. I'm talking to the camera just to sort of G myself up, but could potentially just bottle it again. Right, here I go. Up there. Maybe he's just fed up for spending so much time with you. He just wanted to do it on his own. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what would be brilliant is if somebody came and started now, because he wouldn't be able to get off. Yeah. <laughs> That's the evil thought. Without either climbing <laughs> past them, which would cement shame in so many ways, or he'd have to finish. He must have had a word with him. He must have had a serious word. He with must him have had a phone. serious word, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Double on bottler. Bottled it first time, went, had a word with myself, G'd myself up, went back, got to the beginning of the wire bridge, cacked it. My brain just wouldn't have it. Silly brain. I would bring, um, I would potentially bring a toddler on this actually. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. I might bring my daughter actually. How old, just, how old your daughter is? She's eight, yeah. Oh, an eight year old, yeah, an eight year old. Now we, uh, we have to descend a little bit, you see there. I mean, for me, the big test is gonna be, it's gonna come whether he can show some of this footage and, you know, admit that he was unable to do it. And I think if he can do those things, we'll see, you know, we'll see. Joey D looked back from his climb, didn't touch any of the ropes, did you? Didn't touch any of the cable, no. Yeah. That's impressive, isn't it? It is. I didn't bother though. I was just going around, grabbing onto the cable, grabbing onto whatever. And I didn't even do it. She filled my socks, just humiliate me a bit more. There's the guy who bottled it, look. Those are the socks of a bottler. Bottled yeah. it. Bum bag of a Those bottler. Those are the socks of a man who should have been playing golf. <laughs> Rather than doing beer for Action, art. adventure. No, no. Safety first. <laughs> there you go. Belittled. I admit it, I shit myself twice. Double drop. Brilliant. Oh. How was that? Um, best experience of my life. We've got to end it on top of this mountain. In the sunset? Where the sun's going down. Thanks to Ian for being our guide. <laughs> Get me on one of them peel cans. You know one of them peel ones where you have all the heroes, like the tattoo artists, the fell runners? Get me on there as a inspirational speaker i'll get you g'd up um what else can i do not much that'll be it inspirational speaker about conquering your fears <laughs> i'm not gonna say anything. don't even bother because we'll, yeah, saying yeah we'll leave that anyway because by the end of 2017 i'm gonna climb that via ferrata and then if i do bottle it definitely shutting down channel definitely uh it's been said i look like a young tom hardy a young, fat, semi... Short, fat, ugly Tom Hardy. I'm a short, fat, ugly, poor Tom Hardy. So, form an orderly cue, girls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, lay I'm laying off the ale for a little bit just to get the old gutty wuts in order because uh, turning into a bit of a fat knacker. So, <laughs> Rioja and whiskey. And it's... Uh, 
That ain't gonna help, is it? Down a dog beat to step two, step two, step two, step two. <laughs> step two? I was really. You were miles off, to be fair. Da da! You don't want to know. Ta da! <laughs> Tight lines and full pots. Fresh caught sea bass, limpets, winkles, velvet crabs. Oh fuck! Oh, I've got driftwood sleeves on again. No! Oh, look and shield. <laughs> <laughs> So it was like an oil slick. <laughs> John, we just had wine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's John. Oh, is it good? No. Are, we Are we in? It's amazing. Is it? We're in. <laughs> yeah. It's like pudding. <laughs> the perfect nightcap. It's like, for the alcoholic who doesn't want to also spend money on pudding, pudding. this is the tipple. The tipple for you. That good. is amazing. Right. Like Black Forest gas. Oh. Besides hanging about with me, what was the highlight of the uh, experience? Highlight? It's genuinely probably the people who uh, are sound, real sound. Everyone I've met has been genuinely very sound. Yeah, there you go. Um, who did you have your class with? Uh, Adam Hawker. Is that good? Very good. Not long enough, but very good. Should have really got less drunk and concentrated more on getting up and carving spoons, to be honest. Cat, we can't eat an owl in front of lads. <laughs> yeah, off, off camera we, we eat owls, don't we? Kentucky Fried Owl. Kentucky Fried Owl. Oh, to your last wild camp before becoming a mum. <sighs> That's pudding. That is pudding. I'm giving it some air to look like Joey D as well. <laughs> it does actually taste like uh, salted caramel. That's not entirely disgusting. I don't know if I could. Uh, I don't know if I could do a pint of it. We're looking at about 350, 375 a can, something like that. Anyway, uh, so to get fully pissed on it, it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you a lot. Uh, what do you reckon? Nice. It's Shit. Right. <laughs> yeah. This is a permanent part of my kit now. This is my new axe sheath. Look. I went, <laughs> I went and got one. <laughs> hey. It's a it's a trend. Yeah, just get a new one, man. New sheath. It's all ethically sourced. All that. Wear it, wear it around your neck. <laughs> Anything, look, you know. Genuinely got them stuck. So there's your there's your bushcrafter. How mini Joey's doing? Uh, mini Joey's doing top dog. Top dog. We don't need to we don't need, like to go into our personal life too detailed. No, do we? no. So we'll just that, say, you will never see a picture of him. Yeah, but <laughs> this is a picture of him. <laughs> <laughs> If he does, there won't be any more videos. You know, we're literally oh, at the end of just all. Just a montage to music <laughs> to the rest of the video. Just... <laughs> anyway. It would be hilarious. Oh, you funny as fuck. Right. <laughs> We've looked out with this bit of weather. Just this little bit now is fantastic. Yeah. I'm just going to stand out here, Joey D's making some homemade bread in a bag, if you can hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Who can't? Who can't hear that? <laughs> Echoing throughout the valley. Romo and oh, Compo are only fools and horses out on a day trip. <laughs> Apart from monkey hangers. What's them? Hartlepool, isn't it? Hartlepool. Monkey Get. hangers. I don't know what that is, I've never heard that. Well, Algerinos. what happened was... Scarborough. The, 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 the story is, there was a shipwreck <laughs> and a monkey... No, that's... Yeah, no. no, this is the story. And a monkey got washed up on the shore. God. And, and they were... I'm leaving this in. <laughs> so it better it's be good. It's true. Right. It's true. So a monkey... And they... This is bullshit. Go on then. Now a monkey got washed up on the shore and what happened to it? They hung it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, barbaric. I'm scared a bit. A bit nervous. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, someone's yodeling. Either someone's yodeling or it's a sheep. Either Step. someone's yodeling like a sheep or it's a sheep. <laughs> someone's shouting. Someone's shouting bah, like a sheep. <laughs> or it might be a sheep. 
I think it's someone shouting. I think it's someone shouting, like pretending to be a sheep. <laughs> Where's well, someone? Either someone, <laughs> someone dressed up like a sheep, shouting uh, like a sheep. Either that lad there is dressed up like a sheep <laughs> and has sprayed red on his back to pretend he's like is it owned, owned by a farmer. He's barring like a sheep, or, and this is far fetched, <laughs> but it might be a sheep. Joey D went to pick up a lovely bottle, I mean, a lovely box of red wine, and somehow, on the way from shop to here now, it's turned into lovely white wine. The cloud is coming. This is unbelievable. Look at that sky, man. And then the cloud inversion is just there, coming in at us. Who says white wine ain't lucky? White Who wine. says white? <laughs> yeah. Who says white wine ain't mint like? Have you ever seen a midge with depression? Have you ever seen a suicidal midge? <laughs> <laughs> suicidal midge. My favourite band actually. Red as. <laughs> Cheers. Mr. Leaf. Mr. Leaf. <laughs> An old teacher of ours, Mr. Leaf. Shout out Mr. Leaf if you're watching. Respect. Yeah? Thought it wouldn't amount to anything. Now what? <laughs> hey? Now what are you saying? Now what are you saying? Burying each other in leaves, Mr. Leaf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Take that. Take that, that to school project. report. Yeah. And that, where are you now, Mr. Leaf? <laughs> Probably headmaster. <laughs> Well done then. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations on working your way up. <laughs> anyway. Deserve it. You deserve it. <laughs> you deserve everything you got. <laughs> I'm jealous. How is there any jobs going, Mr. Leaf? I'll do anything. Pot washing or tidy like caretaker. <laughs> like Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> I used to love that when he dived into it, wouldn't it? Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? Yeah. I bet that would really hurt though in real life it'd probably stop <laughs> you. <laughs> what? Yeah, there's not Oh man. You're just literally eating metal floor, aren't you? Because there's no. Pretty much. So Scrooge must have been a, a hard man. He was streamlined. He had eh? the beak as well to cut through <laughs> them first few coins. We'd just be like, it'd just be, you'd only do, you'd Scrooge McDuck it for like one day and then that's it. Intensive care. <laughs> Shout out this stuff. Skin so soft if you need it. Yeah, me face, me face. It helps for. <laughs> In Barnet, that's where they get you. Well, that should keep. That should keep. <coughs> <coughs> oh my god! <coughs> it's like we just pepper sprayed each other. Anyway, sorry, I was almost sick then. Uh, long time no see. Cheers. Here's to a good camp out. You join us here at the um, it's the Bushcraft Olympics because we only had five balls for the catapult. If you just took your clothes off, that would be what a caveman. You're literally just a caveman. This is content, this, isn't it? Uh, when you think of content that Dustin and Mike put in, a lot of good content there, a lot of hard work put in. And we're just throwing a stick. Literally throwing a stick. No way, that was terrible. Here he is behind me, that you can see him. Yeah, Tour de France, mate, he's got me in slipstream. <laughs> a new day. I've come to the woods just to try and do a bit of mushroom foraging and then I'm back down to the coast. We're going to do some more spear fishing, spend a few more hours in the sea, maybe see if we can get a lobster or a crab or some winkles or just see what I can bring. Come on, lad. You spent enough time back coast. Come on. Just have a nice, nice, huh. nice look. <laughs> anyway, the fire's roaring. We're enjoying our amazing <laughs> <That's> stew. Absolutely. <laughs> it's going for it, man. Absolutely. Oh. Incredible. Yes, mate. Good times. Good times. <laughs> We're not going to see Von Von D for probably forever because uh, he's having a, a new bairn, a little bairn, so number two. Covid-19, right, peace out, catch you later. See you, mate. See you, mate. Take care, see you in a few years, yeah? All right, see you later. All right, mate, love you. You're making a huge impact by drinking it. 
So we're by the water, drinking beer. Doing skin. good. I mean, we already do a lot of good. We are, when we're overdoing it on good, we're going to have to go and kick a duck to death or something. <laughs> to offset it. I've seen one down there. Uh, well, that's why I... Yeah, is, that what you, is that the one you had your eye on? To be honest, I had my eye on him before we even offset it. So... It's a screen grab of something Joey D took, look. And that's just... I tell everyone about that magical evening that we, we couldn't have had better weather. And when everyone's like, what was it like? I'm like, well, climbing Ben Nevis was, we, I think we had the best weather slash window you could ever get. No you could it. drop a feather and it would have just fallen straight to the floor, wouldn't it? Perfect conditions and an, an incredible sunset. No one there because there was times where I was going to tap out, wasn't there? Oh, many. Mm. Frequent. Often. Yeah, I think I said it on each peak, maybe. No, there's nah, two I real... Think, uh, once you got past... Um, once you got past the lion's share of Scarfell, you were... There wasn't any question, really. I don't think you really doubted it. And then doing the um, Yorkshire three peaks, there was a point where I felt like I wasn't going to make it more than any of the three other three yeah, peaks. Yeah. Like, I mean, that, that just looked so much harder. It felt harder for me, so... God knows how it felt for your feet, which of again looked so much worse after that than they did after the nationals, didn't they? I nearly tapped out. I did nearly tap didn't out. Didn't know. Didn't tap out. <laughs> didn't tap out. I was actually running at one point. Yeah. Just yeah. Cause... Mad. You'd gone mad. You'd lost it for a little bit. Did I? I like I lost it, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, yeah. But that was good. That got us through it. It's good to lose it every now and again, just a yeah. little bit, in it. So yeah, I'd like you to do it. honest mate. So this is a thanks to you as well, like just for being with me, because I know I get all glory because I was at bare feet and that, but Let's have a look. I couldn't have done it without you. And it's just, a great looking can that as well. It's pretty good, and inside yeah. it's got photos and shit, and yeah, it looks the lovely. link to the um, Just Giving page, which is amazing. Much love, mate. Thank you. Sorry, I was just doing the tasting before mm. I went into it. Mm -hmm. the... mm. How long you can uh, do it? Seat background and all that. Wee! You look like a small boy. Here he is, my little boy, with his new haircut. My little boy, first day at school. There we go. Hey, I'll be on. There we go. Look, yes. Yeah. From source to bow, the ch the champions of the esque. And there it is, man. And that just brings us up to date. That just brings us up to literally a couple of weeks ago when we went on our last adventure. And we have many more adventures planned. He's starting to be able to get some more free time now. And I'm starting to settle down. The dust is settling from my move. So expect a lot more from me and Joey D. And it's been a great trip down memory lane. Even if it wasn't for the people who are new to the channel, some of you, uh, some of you old heads might have enjoyed that i definitely enjoyed it so normal service should resume soon hopefully and i'll get back to uh, uploading regularly but for now take care of yourselves i send you now but love au revoir gonna walk off in little shorts <laughs> sorry goodbye